a study that just came out found that it's better to be born dumb and have rich parents than it is to be born smart and have poor parents. There's no denying that life would be easier if your parents were rich. People have known you for years as the richest man in the world. You're the second richest man in the world, right? If your parents were rich, you could quite possibly live your entire life without ever having to worry about money. I got a small loan, started a business. I built that into a massive empire. It's now worth billions and billions and billions of dollars. But some would argue that the biggest advantage that would come with having rich parents is that you would have an easier and better chance at finding love. Scientists are claiming that, prepare yourself for this one, online daters with an income of over $150,000 per year get a crap load more messages from potential dates. Yes, it's apparently not just a cliche. The more money you have, the more attractive you become. How handsome am I, right? How handsome? When you really think about it, love begins with attraction, and wealth is attractive because it indicates success, stability, and security. But we couldn't help but question, how attractive can the simple fact of having rich parents actually make you? I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. To find an answer to our question, we decided to rent out an office space, rent out a Lamborghini, and recruit the help of an 18-year-old kid named Logan. Alrighty, Logan, how you feeling? This is your office, what do you think of it? Dad could have got a nicer desk, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Logan is your average American. However, today he will be pretending to be the son of a billionaire, and we're gonna find out if that will make him attractive enough to steal someone's girlfriend. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room here. I know a lot of you saw the title screen and were like, question everything? Shouldn't that say catching gold diggers? Well, generally speaking, yes, but technically speaking, no. Question Everything is our new series, and in the description below, I go into detail on what it is and why it's quote unquote replacing catching gold diggers. It took me a while to write that, but if you guys don't want to read it, that's okay. Very understandable. Just know though, this video is going to feel like a gold digger video because again, generally speaking, it is, but technically speaking, it isn't. So Logan's father just gave him a small loan of a million dollars. He decided to use some of the money to buy himself a Lamborghini and use the rest of the money to start up his own company in this office. As you can see though, the office space is empty. So that's why Logan decided to hire his childhood friend, Jay. Hi Max, got two of them. Ordered them, who ordered them? Jay was made responsible for buying everything for the office. Why is it empty in here? Who the heck? Where's the workers? Excuse me, I am talking here, hello? Jay's right, Logan needs more workers to help him bring his company to life. So to help him find and hire those people, Logan hired Madeline. She was made responsible for posting on job sites and setting up interviews. In fact, later this evening, she actually scheduled a girl named Emma to come in for an interview. Emma will be arriving in a couple of hours to be interviewed by Logan and potentially be hired as his personal assistant. The cameras are rolling already, like I said. Walk on in. Everyone, this is James right over here. Keep walking How's back. everybody yeah, doing? You see this? Yeah. We got the lobby okay. right over here. We're gonna have Madeline who's gonna be there at the lobby. This is the desks right here. James is Emma's boyfriend, who unbeknownst to her will be here during her job interview because as I'm sure you guys know, the job interview and the entire scenario that I just described is not real. All the action is gonna be happening in here, okay? So Logan's gonna be here, sitting her down right there. He's gonna sit down right there. And yeah, you're gonna be listening in to everything that's happening in here. Um, let me show you where you're gonna be listening in from. Uh, just in case you get loud or something, we, we put you one, two, three offices away. So the truth is, James was the one who told Emma about the supposed job opportunity, and he was also the one who convinced her to email Madeline for more information. After a couple of email and phone call exchanges, Madeline then scheduled Emma to come in today at 6 p.m. for a supposed job interview with Logan. Well, when Emma arrives later today, Madeline will greet her, check her in, and then walk her to the room that is serving as Logan's office. Now we've rigged that room with cameras and microphones to record video and audio from all possible angles because what Emma doesn't know is that in the middle of her supposed job interview, Logan will be asking her on a date thus allowing us to find out if being the son of a billionaire will make him attractive enough to steal her from James. I don't, I don't got it all yet. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, tr I'm trying to do the best that I can for you know with what I got. Yeah. She's been in and out of jobs lately, so me, I'm like, okay, while you're looking for a job, you know, I'm gonna I'm a take care of you know everything. Yeah. Pretty much. So like, that's all. That's really all I'm trying to do, man. I'm just trying to make a better life for both of us. So like, we can you know have some shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. 
Now, considering that Emma is seven years older than Logan and already in a relationship, the chances of her actually going on a date with Logan are slim. So will Jay, Madeline, this office space, and a $500,000 Lamborghini have any effect on that? Oh my God. I love this. Lambo so low, got a squat. <laughs> So you, li you liking it? You liking it, Logan? Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. <laughs> All right, James, what do you think Emma's gonna think of this car? Bro, yo, this this is crazy. You think she's gonna be impressed by it? You think it's gonna matter? You think it's not gonna matter? I I, I hope it doesn't matter, but I've, it's gonna matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna matter, bro. If everything goes as planned, Logan will be showcasing this $500,000 Lamborghini Aventador to Emma. Okay, so right now what we are doing is we are moving this car, the Tesla, by the Lamborghini to record when Logan takes Emma to it. Okay, this is good enough. Like I said, we're gonna see what this camera looks like. If this camera doesn't look good, we're just gonna put another camera on and Jess. Hey, we gotta drop a mixtape like right now just because. We gotta drop a mixtape just because, like what? You my friend now, I guess? I I can I can say yeah like we 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 cool bro we're like we definitely cool we might we might hang out sometime or something I got you, you. Know what I'm I'll pick you up <laughs> With Emma's scheduled arrival less than 20 minutes away the time eventually came for my crew and I to head back inside and take our positions We're going to be communicating and coordinating the execution of our plan via text message Madeline will be in the lobby she has been keeping in touch with Emma and monitoring her every move She will alert us when Emma is parking in the building or coming up the elevator Jay will be in a room near Logan's office. He will have the two empty iMac boxes in his hand and I will be letting him know when he should make his entrance. Our camera crew members, Josh and Jordan, will be in the parking garage recording from inside of the Tesla. I will alert them when Logan and Emma are making their way to check out the Lamborghini and they will alert us when Logan and Emma are making their way back inside. And finally, the rest of our camera crew, including myself, will be in this separate room with James. James will be watching and listening in to everything that is about to go down. We have everyone on standby via text messaging. Are you ready for this? No, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not ready, but yeah, I'm ready. And with that, the moment of truth finally arrives. At about five minutes before six, Madeline finally lets us know that Emma has entered the building downstairs and is about to make her way up. I'm nervous, man. Like, you, you got me nervous right now. <laughs> and about two minutes after initially texting us, Madeline then lets us know that Emma is about to officially enter the lobby. How's it going? Uh, good, good. Um, I'm here for an interview. Oh yeah, just go ahead and sign your name here, please. So before we move on, it's important that you guys know exactly what we made Emma believe. I briefly already touched on these things, but I'm gonna use the first email that Madeline sent Emma to emphasize them again. How's your day going? Good, good, not too bad. How's yours? It's going, <laughs> it's going. Cool, yeah, just go ahead and take a seat. Okay. Yeah, I'll Thank be right, right with you, yeah. sorry. Emma believes that Logan's company is new and just moving into the office. She believes that she's about to be interviewed to potentially become Logan's personal assistant, which involves helping Logan with anything and everything that he might need, including grabbing coffee or taking his car to the car wash. Emma also believes that no experience is required for the job, it offers good pay, and that her interview could result in an immediate on-the-spot hire. Of course, provided that Logan likes her. See, mentioning all of this to Emma was important because the truth is, everything that's about to happen during her interview is very far-fetched, implausible, and unlikely to happen during a real job interview. So by giving Emma all of this information, our hope was that she herself would be able to logically explain away any skepticism that might arise during her interview, aka the execution of our plan. Okay, so you're here for the personal assistant position? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Logan will be interviewing you, so I'm just going to go ahead and ask him if he's available, okay? Just sit tight. Madeline now begins making her way to Logan's office to make sure that he's ready. With her, she takes the phone that she's been recording herself with. No? Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> Emma's here for interview? Okay, you can send her on back. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. After making sure that Logan was ready, Madeline makes her way back to the lobby to grab Emma. Emma? Yes, he's ready for you. Oh, here she is. She is walking back to the room. No, it's a little bit empty, but you know, it's a work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Okay, this is Emma. You Logan? How are you doing? I'm Logan. Good, nice good. to meet you. Nice to meet you. You can go ahead and take a seat okay. in that chair right over there. Woo! 
So now you should be seeing her on your screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. And with that, the first step of our plan is complete. Madeline has continued to make this whole thing appear realistic, and she also reminded Emma that the company just moved into the office. The next step of our plan is to send Jay in, but before we can do that, we're gonna give Logan a couple of minutes to conduct a typical job interview. You got your resume on you? I do, yes. Sweet, sweet. Thank you. How's your day been so far? Good, good. good. Not too bad, how's yours? Uh, pretty good, thanks for asking, just busy. And... Logan begins by examining Emma's resume and then asking her questions about her previous employments. One of those employments happened to be with Toys R Us. You worked at Toys R Us? Yeah, I did. How was it working there? It was it was good. Um, I really enjoyed it, it was fun. I liked the people that I worked with, so that was cool. Did it suck when like they shut down? Like, How'd you react when they said, hey, you're getting fired? <laughs> I actually wasn't there for that. I think I was there two or three years before it actually happened. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I liked it too, but you know. Yeah. Oh, you worked at Target, Forever 21, a couple mm -hmm. other places. Mm -hmm. After asking about her previous employment, Logan then moves on to describing the personal assistant position. So a little bit more about this company and the position you're applying for. Okay. So my dad started this a couple years ago. It's an investment firm, so we we're taking care of people's money and stuff. Mm -hmm. Your job isn't that hard. You'll be personally assisting me. Okay, right. My needs and stuff, taking care of like errands I need to run, stuff I'm too lazy to do myself. Okay. Yeah, you'll get me lunch, coffee, print stuff out. Honestly, it's it's easy. I'm just looking for someone with personality and I can get along with, you know? Once we heard Logan give Emma the job description, the time was now right to send in Jay. Jay will play a brief but very critical role. He will be giving Logan the perfect opportunity to showcase his wealth to Emma. So, like, what, what sets you apart from all the other people who've been coming in? What um, makes you different? I would say that I'm a very patient person. I, I would say I am very cool, collected. Remember, Logan supposedly hired Jay to get everything needed for the office that they just moved into. Well, in this brief exchange, Logan will be giving Jay the $20,000 needed to buy those things. It's a lot to take on, like, it's a lot of work. Yeah, I, I'm pretty good under stress. Okay, yes. okay. I'm so sorry, I know you're in an interview, but I have the IMAX ready. Uh, hurry up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry about this, okay. I'm, I got it. <laughs> So sorry. Okay. Hey. Hi. Put this up here. Uh, how much was it for those? I got these for 6K okay. in total. Okay. For the furniture and everything, is going to be about 15K. Is that okay? Yeah. 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 The $20,000 that Logan will be handing Jay is just prop money, but Emma doesn't know that. She stares on to what she thinks is Logan handing Jay $20,000 in real cash. There, there's 20 right there. Okay. But don't go too crazy. Okay. I need the receipts. With I'm everything. gonna give you receipts, uh, everything, okay. change back and everything. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. That's okay, no, don't worry about it. We're just recently moving in, as you can see. Yeah. We're just trying to get everything. Jay makes his exit just as quickly as he made his entrance. Again, the exchange was brief, but its purpose was served. Logan now has the perfect opportunity to showcase his wealth. He already showcased his cash. Now it's time for him to showcase his car. We should have everything set up probably within a month. Oh, okay. Um, it's kind of nice though to start from zero. Yeah, the the space is huge as you can see. I yeah. mean, we're still trying to figure out where is everything going. Right. But you want me to show you around the office, give you a tour, we'll see everything. It'll give you a better understanding of what the position really is. Logan uses the fact that they are just moving in and the personal assistant position to offer to give Emma a tour. Come on, we'll go take a tour. Okay. I can go show you uh, where the coffee maker is, break room, printer, everything okay. that you'll be kind of helping me with. Okay, Um. do I just leave this Yeah, here? you can leave that just... here, yep. Okay. Yeah, just follow me. We'll, we'll go take a tour. Logan told Emma that the tour is for her to check out the office space and better understand the position. But of course, his real intentions are to take Emma to the parking garage to check out the Lamborghini. Remember, Emma was told that Logan's car would be part of the job, which means that technically speaking, it's also a part of the tour. And so with that, we let Josh and Jordan know that Logan and Emma are on their way. Yeah, it, it would have been cool if we would have, if we could have like gone to the Lamborghini, but at the same time, it's like when we come back inside, like what if we miss something, you know? So I think it's just better that we just decided to just stay in here and stuff and yeah, you know? A couple of minutes later, Logan and Emma eventually make it to the parking garage. As planned, Logan walks Emma over to the Lamborghini and proves to her that it's his by letting her inside. 
All that's gonna happen in the Lamborghini is she's just gonna check it out and probably be like, oh my God, what the heck, that's it. Okay, that's it. He's not, he's not gonna make a move on her. He's not gonna do anything. All he's gonna do is just show up the car and that's all that's happening. So, I mean, just, just imagine it in your head, okay? I don't wanna imagine another guy <laughs> showing my girl a, a better car than what I got. That's something I would not wanna see. Sick, isn't oh. it? literally like a spaceship I know, or something. It's, it's as fast as a spaceship too, I'd Yeah, say. it still literally smells like a new car. And you've had it for what? Three to five months, somewhere in between there. Wow. But, yeah. The quilt is in good touch. The red leather, mm -hmm. I had to. All my cars have red leather. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. You're gonna have to be taking it to the car wash to get it detailed, to get my mm -hmm. lunch. Oh my gosh. What are you making of everything so far? I'm, I'm right now, it's 50-50. It's 50-50. It's 50, 50, 50 like I really don't know like which way she's gonna go. Right. Like is she gonna go, you know, is she gonna pick me or she's gonna pick the money? Like <laughs> I really don't know right now, you know what I'm saying? I've never driven a car like this. It's the same exact thing as like any other car. Like, I mean, I drive a Mini. Compared to a Mini, this uh, is not. My dad will take care of any damages or if it gets stolen, but just uh -huh. be careful, so. Yeah, I, I've, no, I've never gotten a speeding ticket and I've never been in a car accident, so I, I don't plan to do that now. <laughs> Okay. How do you think this is going to turn out? What do you think is going to happen? Well, you know, I, I want to be optimistic, you know. I want to be like, oh yeah, you know, this is not going to, you know, this right. is not going to work, but mm -hmm. I don't, I really don't know. Like, okay. To tell you okay. the truth, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Do I turn it on? No. If you'd like to turn it on, <laughs> you can go ahead. You don't need to twist it. This is the power button right here. So. Oh, you literally just have to be yeah. in the car. Literally, in all you have to, to do is flip that up. Oh my gosh. And just Put your press? foot on the brake. Okay. Oh, I'm too and far. Hold on. Okay. Just press it. Oh my gosh, okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh yeah. So you think everything you do for her is gonna be enough? Or you think she's gonna end up going with for love? We've never had money, so who knows? Hey. But money changes people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> money changes people, bro. Like if you've never seen a million dollars and somebody's willing to give you a million dollars, what are you gonna do for yeah. that million dollars? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and you're gonna have me <laughs> drive this to get it washed? You need to get it washed, detailed, everything. Wow. Okay. I know money's definitely a necessity, but I'm not a person who's like, oh yeah, you give me a million dollars, let me just become a whole brand new person and right. stuff like that. Right. But money changes people. That's that's what I can say. <laughs> money changes people. I hope she's on my side, man. Like, I hope what I'm doing right now is is pointless. <laughs> I hope what I'm doing right now is pointless, bro. Like, that's all I can tell yeah. you. And, you know, she can be mad at me for doing all this shit. I right. can make up for that. Right. I can make up for that. But if right. she if she picks the, if she takes the money over me, like, there's no making up. Right. Like, there's like, there's no making up. Like, get your shit, get out and get out. I pay for everything, so get the fuck out. Logan spends almost 20 minutes showcasing the Lamborghini to Emma, and moments after they step out of the car, we get the text message that lets us know that they're making their way to the elevator to come back upstairs. Everything has been going according to plan, which means that by now, Emma should be well aware of Logan's enormous wealth. Okay, she is here. They are both here. Okay. This has definitely been a very unique and unusual interview for Emma, but what she doesn't know though, is that the most unusual part about it is yet to come. All right, James, from here on out, yeah, just listen in, okay? Good luck. So the time has finally come for Logan to ask Emma on a date, but before he can do that, there's one last thing he has to do. How are you liking everything? I know this is like a crazy interview, but <laughs> how are you taking it in? Like, um, I would say it's the most fun interview I probably have ever had. So okay. it's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. See, the reason we told Emma that she could potentially be hired on the spot is because Logan's gonna be hiring her before making his move. And the reason he's hiring her is so Emma doesn't feel like she has to go on a date with Logan in order to get the job. I really do think you'll be a great fit. Can I be real with you? Sure. All right, well, honestly, I think I'm gonna hire you. I think you're a perfect fit for this position and I think you can do a, a great job at this. A great job getting my coffee, getting my lunch, just okay. running my errands. I, I really do think you're a perfect fit. Okay, thank you, thank you, honestly. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I will do a really good job, I promise. Okay, good, good. So Emma has gracefully accepted our job offer, which means that Logan is now free to ask her on a date. Do you have enough time in today to uh, 
fill out some paperwork? Yeah, okay. I do. Okay, we'll fill out some paperwork okay. now. But before that, I do have a serious question to ask. Okay. Um, so I know it's a little just out of the blue, but I'm actually super attracted to you. Your personality, your vibe, just everything really. I just kind of want to get to know you a little more. So uh, okay. I was wondering if you're free tonight, maybe to grab some dinner. Um. Okay, so there it is. Logan just asked her on a date. It was very straight up, <laughs> straightforward. It wasn't really like. <laughs> it wasn't smooth at all. <laughs> it wasn't smooth. He was like, I'm like, whoa. Granted, yes, Logan is a little inexperienced. But remember, today it's his money that will be doing all the talking. Um, I, I was not prepared for that. I know it's weird. It's unprofessional, but at the end of the day, you'll you'll still be hired, and yeah. I'll. S I'll still have the job? Yeah, you'll still have the job. Like, I won't hold that against you or anything, but if you if you say yes, then we can go on the date. But if you're skeptical, I mean, you can say no. And it's honestly up, all up to you. <laughs> so after pretty much blowing his cover, <laughs> Logan reminds Emma that she would still have the job whether she accepts or declines the date. I'm just a little confused. I, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. But, um, are you just hiring me because you're, like, attracted to me? No, 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 like, like, genuinely, I think you're perfect for this job, and genuinely, like, like, no. Honestly, I hired you because you are the perfect fit for this position, and I'm gonna be seeing you every day, so I might as well get to know you a little more, I mean. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just kind of just taken back, um, <laughs> It just, I mean, it just came out of nowhere, you know? And, um, but no, I cannot accept. I, I cannot accept the date. Yeah, I'm just as shook as you. Like, I'm, it's still processing through my mind. Mm -hmm. But, like, it, you can either say yes and we'll go on a date or no. It's completely up to you. <laughs> okay. I, I appreciate your honesty. Yep, and the answer is no. Um, the fucking answer is no. And no, I cannot yeah. accept. Okay, so, well... I don't hear a no. I'm not hearing a no. I, I mean, you know, you, you seem great. You're, you're, you seem like a really cool guy. And, um, I, I, I would like to get to know you more and, like, you know, hang out and stuff. But, you know. I mean, she's not saying yes yet. <laughs> she's worried about the job and stuff, but she's not saying yes yet. I just, you know, I, I just want to make sure that, like, because I really want this job. And I, I just want to make sure that, like, I, I don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. It, this won't jeopardize it. I mean, I'm not trying to convince you in any way. This is your your choice. Okay. Okay, so Logan's telling her that she's not going to get fired, but... But she's thinking about it. She's, she's thinking about it. Like, she sounds like she's thinking about it. There should be no hesitation. No, like, why, why are you thinking? Take the job. You are my boss, and that's it. What, what is there to think about? You right. Like, what is, what is there to think about? No, I promise you, like, this does not jeopardize it in any way. Okay. I just... Okay. You'll still be hired either way, I promise. Okay. Your job is in no way jeopardized by this decision. Okay. You can either say yes, and we'll go on the date. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Are you sure? You seem a little unsure. I'm, I'm sure. You're positive? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Seemingly out of nowhere, Emma suddenly accepts going on a date with Logan. She was very hesitant, and it almost sounded as if she would turn him down. But in the end, she appeared to be very happy and confident with her decision. Okay, okay. So, are you free tonight then? Yeah, yeah, I, I can be, yeah. You wanna go grab some dinner then? Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah, sure. That's all it takes, some money. <laughs> you try to do something, you try to do things for everybody, man, but you know, sometimes it's just not enough. Right. Mm -hmm. On any other day, the chances of Logan going out with Emma would have been slim. But it appears that the simple fact of Logan being the son of a billionaire really did have a huge effect on that. What do you, I mean, what do you, what do you make of it? What do you, uh... Just like I told you in the beginning, I was, you know, optimistic. Yeah. But just like I said, money changes people, man. And, you know, seeing nice things that you've never had before right. changes people like a Lamborghini. Correct. I, I definitely, I... Didn't want to say I saw this coming. I thought, you know, she was really on my side. Right. Tells it shows to go. You don't, you don't really know a person, man. Yeah. You don't, you don't really know a person. Okay. Well, uh, let me just check out. See if I got this paperwork here. 
We wanted to give James a chance to talk to Emma, so that's why we told Logan to pretend to look for the new hire paperwork in order to keep Emma there. As Logan does so, I text the rest of our camera crew to prepare themselves if they're not already prepared. Logan at this point is pretty much just stalling, pretending mm -hmm. to look for that paperwork, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, so I have to ask you now, uh, do you, do you want to go in there and do you want to talk to her? Do you want yeah. to confront her? Yeah, yeah, you do. Most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. You have a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Most, lot. yeah, most definitely. I'm really, but I'm really pissed off right now. I know I'm smiling, yeah, but smiling, it, I was like, I know I'm smiling, smiling, but I'm really, but I'm really, I'm really, I'm really pissed off right now. You know, some people, you know, when they're no, angry no, no, and yeah. shit, you know, some people cry, some people smile, yeah, you know. Right yeah, but that's that's me right now. Let's <laughs> let's go in, man. Like let's. Do you go. know what you want to tell her? Do you know? I don't know, but more than likely, you know, it's gonna it's gonna come. Like I know it's gonna I know it's gonna come. <laughs> what do you like to eat? Um, What's your favorite type of food? I mean, I like Mexican food. Thai food's always really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or sushi. I love I sushi. Know. I love sushi. Um, cameras, how are we? Are we good? We need to change battery. Okay, no worries. Just give us just give us a minute and stuff, and yeah, let's change that battery, and then we can okay. we can go ahead. Uh, just prepare yourself. Do you know of any good sushi places? Um, there's one up by my house a little bit. It's, it's called Sushi O. Okay. And it was, yeah, I love that place. Okay. Actually, it's, it's my favorite place. It's okay. Sushi, oh yeah, it's so good. So James has chosen to have a conversation with Emma. So as my team and I get everything ready to go, I want to take this time to thank you guys for being here with me today. Now, I have no idea when you guys are going to be watching this video, but if you guys are watching it around the time of its upload, then you guys know that we are living through a crazy pandemic right now. And if you guys are like us and you can't even leave your home, then I hope that this video was able to bring some sort of entertainment to your day in these uncertain times. I can't wait for you guys to check out the new content that we're going to be making. But like I said, right now we can't leave our home, so we can't even film. But as soon as we can, we will. Okay, Josh is ready. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Like I said, if you're watching this video around the time of its upload, the world's in a crazy spot and we are living through some crazy and uncertain times. But remember, we're in this together and we're going to get through this together. So with that being said, please stay home, please stay safe, and please, 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 please find a way to stock up on those talkies without leaving your home because you guys already know this shit's going to be good. Yo, what's up, Emma? You enjoy that Lambo ride? You having a nice little interview? How you gonna do me like that, Emma? How you really gonna do me like that after everything I've done for you? How you gonna fuck with dude like I don't mean shit to you? He, you know he's straight out of high school, right? Don't worry about why I'm here. Worry about why you just got fucking caught. Okay, thank you for assuming like I know what that means. You don't know what that means? Don't play stupid. Don't play stupid. You know, don't, you're not fucking stuck, all right? Okay, what the fuck are you referring to, James? What the fuck are you referring to? Put two and two together. You know exactly what was going on between you and Logan. Um, he was interviewing me, if that's what you're talking about. You're really gonna play stupid, huh? No, you're just being a smart ass. You decided to just ignore all of my questions, like always. I don't understand what's you, going on. Well, you, 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 see, you see these cameras here, right? Yes. You see me standing here, right? Yes. You know what the fuck is going on. Use your fucking brain. Okay, thank you for clarifying whatever the fuck that means. How, how the fuck do you expect me to know what the fuck is going on when you haven't explained shit to me? I asked you, how did you get here? What's the point of all of this? And you, you're just avoiding them all. Because you know what the oh fuck is going on. God. Oh, but you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. You, 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 know, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. You, you want me to be straight up. You, you want me to be straight up, right? Yes. You want me yes. to be straight up? Yes. You're a fucking thought. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm oh, a oh yes, you're a Thought. Okay. Logan's the homie, but yet you was ready to go on a date with him? Like, what okay. kind of shit wait is that? Wait a minute, wait nah, a minute. No, fuck your minute, no. fuck your minute. Wait, this was no, a test no, that you no. fucking failed. Hold on, hold you're supposed no, to be doing no, interviews, but yet you're planning you're dates. You're the one who set this shit up. Yeah, because your lazy ass wouldn't get off the okay, couch and do some fucking work. You set this shit up. I didn't want this job. You wanted me to get this job. You set this interview up. How are you gonna be get mad over something that you set up? Oh, you didn't want this job, but that's not what you said to him. It sounded like you was ready to fuck for this job. Between he and I is only because you forced this. I to be forced here. you to get yes. into a Lambo and go on okay. a date with him. Well, the Lamborghini was just part of the job. Okay. You know, you know what? Shut up. It doesn't even fucking matter. I don't even want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear shit you got to say. I don't give a fuck if you wanted the job, the Lambo. I don't give a fuck about none of that. What pisses what? me off is that you was ready to fuck for this job when we're supposed to be together. No, no, I'm. I don't. I'm not gonna respond to that. Because you're not even listening to me. Because, because everything that's coming out of your mouth is straight okay. bullshit. So Own up to your shit. Whatever, that's that's fine. Okay, can Own I Own up to your shit. Stop. Can I ask you guys what you guys are doing with like I get No, it, that, that, that doesn't 
I'm talking to you. I'm talking to they them. They don't want to talk to you either. Okay, can you guys just let me know where, where this is going? Like, I feel like I have a right to know. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck that. Everything. Fuck that. You don't have the right. No. Fuck your rights. Okay, stop, all that. Stop, it's going stop. online. It's going okay, online. All right. Well, I don't want it online. You guys cannot use this online. I don't consent to that. I don't want this Who online. Who cares? Nobody you cares, cares about your consent. Fuck I'm your not consent. talking to you. I'm talking fuck to them. Fuck I don't your want consent. No, no, Everybody's gonna know the real Emma. Everybody's gonna know the real Emma. No, that's all of that. Whatever. Everybody's gonna know the real Emma. Everybody's gonna know the real. She said the lawyers. She said what? Lawyers? Bitch, bitch, what lawyers? What lawyers are you getting? You can't afford lawyers. You can't even afford fucking Netflix. And you fucking lied on your goddamn fucking resume talking about some Toys R Us sales associate. You ain't work at no damn Toys R Us. Shit. You looking real sad right now, huh? Where you going? Where you going? You not coming back to the house? Where you going? Where you going? Your shit is gonna be gone by the time you get there. You can't even close the damn elevator. Look at that. You can't even leave right. What are you doing? Hey, let's go for a ride in that Lambo, bro. Yeah. yeah let's go for <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs>